Alrighty guys, let's begin by filling in our brows by underlining the tail end of the brow using a brow pencil. I am using Anastasia's brow pencil and brunette to create my arch and filling it in. Try to keep a medium pressure on the pencil when filling in the brow. When you work your way to the front, draw it in very lightly to give the brows a more natural look. Use the comb end of the brow pencil to comb through the brow hairs. This will also help blend the color in better. To give the brows a more polished and defined look, underline the brows using a light concealer and a flat brush. Use your ring finger to blend out the concealer. This will help melt it onto the skin and not interfere with the brows. You can also use your concealer as an eyeshadow primer. Apply it onto the lid and blend. These are the brow gels by Anastasia. You can either choose clear, blonde, or brunette, depending on your hair color. Groom the brows by taking your wand and applying the gel onto the brows. For the crease color, I'm going to be using a matte caramel brown eyeshadow. It's called Saddle by MAC. And my 224 blending brush. Apply it in a windshield wiper motion to help diffuse the color. For this look, you don't want your eyeshadow to be too defined. More of a softer blend. Create a base for your lid color. Apply the concealer all throughout the lid, applying it very evenly so that the lid color can stand out and the color payoff will be great. By also doing this, you can see that you have created a crease. Softly deepen the outer corners of your crease using a dark brown eyeshadow and a blending brush. That will help open up the eyes. Then apply your lid color using a shimmery champagne light eyeshadow and a flat brush. For the pinup look, you want to create a retro wing liner. In at the end of the eyes, dragging a line up. Then Next to the tear duct area, apply the black eyeliner and drag it all the way across, connecting it to the wing. From the tail end of the wing liner, create a V, then fill it in with the product. If you want your wing liner to be dramatic, go ahead and continue to build it. Doubling the lashes. Apply a generous amount of duo onto the lash band. Apply the WSP lashes towards the outer eye. This will help widen up the eye. Applying the second lashes using 415s. Take the lash band and apply it closer to the tear duct, taking up the end of the lash higher than my lash line. 
That will give your eyes more of a cat eye appearance, also not interfering with your wing liner. Pinch both your natural lash and your false lashes together to give it a better blend. Apply a small amount of mascara onto the false lashes, feathering it in a upward and sideways motion, giving it more of a natural look. Apply the white eyeliner pencil onto the entire waterline. I am using Fascinating by MAC. This will really give the eyes the bright pin-up eye candy look. Shadow the bottom liner using saddle and a flat brush. Apply it directly underneath the white eyeliner. Take the dark brown eyeshadow and line it onto the bottom of the lash line. It's still underneath the white eyeliner and make sure not to get it too close to the tear duct. You don't want it to close in your eyes. Apply the shimmery color right next to the tear duct area. This will help brighten and open up the eyes. Apply mascara on the bottom of your lashes. I'm using TG's mascara in black. Achieving the porcelain skin look that the 1950s favored. I'm using Naked Skin Foundation and Elena Bedrose Dual Fiber Brush. Begin by applying the foundation in the center of face and working it out. To contour the cheekbones, I'll be using Blunt by MAC. Create a line in the hollows of your cheek. Yes, I know it looks harsh at first, but blend it out in a circular motion to beautifully define your cheekbones. For the blush, you want to use a rose tone and apricot color. I chose Peachy Keen by MAC. And notice I am only applying the blush on the apples of my cheek. Begin by applying the concealer on the entire under eye area, dragging it across the nose and repeating it on the other side. Drag the concealer onto the bridge of the nose and the middle of the forehead. This is what's going to give your skin a more polished look. Blend out your concealer using your ring finger. Using your ring finger will give the application a lighter touch. It is important to be delicate around the under eye area. Using your finger will help warm up the product to melt onto the skin, giving it a flawless finish. When blending in the concealer, make sure you dab it onto the skin. To highlight my face, I use Blanco Mineral Eyeshadow by Laura Geller. Apply your highlight on the high points of your face. To prep the lips for your red lipstick, Take your powder foundation and a brush and pat it onto your lips. This will even out the skin tone to give it a better canvas and help prevent the lipstick from feathering. Fill in your lips using a red pencil lip liner. Here I am using brick lip liner. And I start on the bottom of my lips, then begin to fill up. For that perfect pin of red lips, you want to choose a cool red, a red with a blue undertone. 
using cool red lipsticks will also make your teeth appear whiter. Here I am using Elegant by Makeup Geek. Creating an ombre lip effect. Take a chestnut colored pencil and deepen in the corners of the lips. By deepening the sides and creating the ombre effect, it will help give the red lips a pop and make it more sultry. Create a beauty mark by using dip down and a 210 brush. Locate where you want to put your beauty mark and dab a dot. To keep it in place, you want to take your powder foundation and a flat brush and dab a little on it. By doing this, it will also give it a more natural look. Complete and polish up the look by applying your powder foundation all over your skin. Here I'm using Makeup Forever's powder foundation and my Duo Fiber brush. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you've learned and enjoyed.